I just have a very quick question regarding sure. closing arguments, okay, sure. if we may. Um, does the court have any objection to us playing very small uh, clips yeah, of... As long as they're in evidence, you can play anything, show any picture. Well, that's my question. So, okay. obviously, uh, depositions were by video. Many of many witnesses, especially from Ms. Heard, do you have any objection to us playing video depositions, portions if, if of... If it's not in evidence, it doesn't get... No, of course. Evidence. Just what's in evidence. Um, there's no video depositions in evidence. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. So... It can only... The only thing that can be played to them is what is in evidence. But their testimony, it's witness testimony. Well, yeah, but, be, but, be like, but depositions are witness testimony that you have during trial. That doesn't go back to the jury as evidence. And deposition, video depositions are the same. That would give more weight to video depositions than witness Well, testimony. so my question is, it's a follow-up question to that. Um, obviously, this trial was televised. So there are um, videos of witnesses testifying. No, so, none of that comes in. Okay. The, no, the, the four walls of this courtroom is what the jury decides this case in. Okay. Period. And, and, and just so we don't have a problem tomorrow, also, we can't put in front of the jury written deposition or trial That's testimony. That's correct. Understood. Only things that are in evidence. Understood. But you can show pictures in evidence. You can show video that's in evidence. Or audio that's in or evidence. Or audio that's in evidence. Okay. All of that's fair game. Okay. No, just, no display of written transcripts either. No written transcripts. Right. Just only items in evidence. And no, uh, I, I was, I'm, I'm on the same page. I'm okay. I right, just want to make sure. Thank you, Your Honor, for that clarification. And you have two hours, right? right. Two hours each. each. And you, two people over here and two people over there. Is that what's going to happen? Yes, Your Honor. We're going to split our, um, we're going to split our closing, and then one, only one of us will do the rebuttal. Okay. And that has, and that has to just be on the rebuttal case, correct? On, right. On we. Right. The, the we have that down. Right. Understood. We've gone through that a few Understood. times. Mr. Chu, yep. do you have something on that? Yes, I just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page. Sure. So, plaintiff goes first. Correct. Then the defendant, counterclaim Does, plaintiff. Right. They do then, their defense to your claim, and also they do their their offense to their claim. And then plaintiff. Plaintiff gets to do their defense to their claim. And they claim respond and rebuttal. only with respect to the rebuttal. To the to rebuttal. Their, rebuttal to their to their counterclaim, to the counterclaim only. And so it goes one two one two, and. Plaintiff gets two hours. They get two hours uh, total. Does the, is 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 it fine if it's not exactly one hour oh, for that, each? That, that doesn't matter That's to me. No, okay, as thank long you, as your Ryan. time is just two hours, it doesn't matter how much anybody does. Whatever. Thank you, Ron. Okay. If you wanted to shorten that to about fifteen minutes a piece, I would want to shorten it to two minutes, but you know. <laughs> That's not my take. I, I gave you two pretty, hours. I thought we that was got good. pretty efficient at the end. Of well, this you case. know, it's amazing how that happens. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's kind of like the physics. Of, you know, you, you make a circle, and it, the people will fill that circle. Well, that's what happens. I made a circle. Okay, so let's go ahead. And, um, let me just go ahead and read into the record the order that I'm going to give the jury instructions. I'll also read in the record the the instructions that were denied. Uh, and I will read the instructions that were withdrawn just so we have a complete record, okay? All right, here we go. All right, so for the jury instructions, I'll read them in the following order. Uh, number heard I, number three, number 10, one, B as in boy, C as in Charlie, D as in Delta, E as an echo, F, G, H, 12, 13, Y, F, F, A, A, B, B, D, D, that's David, David, D, D, T, T, C, 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 20, Z, as in zebra, T, U, V, as in Victor, K, L, 5, 6, 7, 32, 8, 9, 16, I, I, 30, K, K, and J, J. All right, those are the ones that will be read to the jury in that order. Okay. The ones that were denied was instruction 22, 23, 
24CC NN, both as Nancy, OO, PP, RR, SS, S as in Sam, SS, 28 and 29 were the ones that were denied. The ones that were withdrawn for the record was instruction A, 2, 4, 11, 14, 15, 17, 19, 21, 25, 26, 27, X as an X-ray, 31, W, E, E, G, G, Q, Q, D, 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 Q, 18, J, M, N, O, P, R, S, H, H, L, L, U, 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 V, V, W, W, X, X, Y, Y, Z, Z, A, 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 and B, B, B. All right. So we will, I will get you copies now. I'll get you hand copies of the jury instructions I'm going to read in that order, so you'll have copies when you leave here, okay? And I'll give you copies of the verdict form as well. And you can have those while you prepare for your closing arguments. Uh, other than that, if you could come up to see Jamie after I leave the bench just to make sure you go through the exhibits and everybody okays the exhibits, so we don't have to do that tomorrow. And also if you can have a look at the laptop with Sammy just to make sure all your exhibits are there that are gonna go back to the jury, okay? Your Honor, one quick question um, okay. about closing to make sure, sure, sure we don't have any issues tomorrow. Understand um, the jury only sees evidence um, yes. that, that they've seen in the trial. If there's, if that evidence is displayed through like a PowerPoint or whatever, are like are headings allowed or do you not want the jury to see any any written text or anything other than just evidence? I mean, I've seen PowerPoints and in cases before in Med-Mal's where they have their other items up there. But I think in this particular case, I'd rather just have no no writing and just have your arguments orally. That's fine. I just wanted to yeah, make okay. sure that there wasn't... Right. Just try to keep it clean. Or paraphrasing of witnesses or anything like okay. that. It's just that, that sounds fine with everybody. Does, does anybody... That's fine with me. That's a good question, though. Are you going to have a PowerPoint? Probably with evidence. Okay. You know. Did you want me to have the big screen up as well? For the PowerPoint? I think so. Yeah, wonderful. I think that would be great. Thank okay, you, Your Honor. Yes. Okay, thank good. you. We'll do that as well. And um, starts at nine. Starts at nine. Closings start at nine. So, Your Honor, Mr. Nadel have has a proffer still on some things. Oh yes, okay. Do you want to do that now? Before <laughs> yes, sir. As does yeah, Miss. Everybody Myers. wants to hear your your proffer. Uh, <laughs> as does Miss Myers at the end of Mr. Nadel Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. They have one too. So, okay. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. If you can just get to the microphone yeah. so I can hear you better. No or the court reporter can hear you better. This will be shorter than the other day. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, on, uh, this is for metadata. On May 16th and May 17th, 2022, the defendant attempted to introduce into evidence photographs from May 21st, 2016 that included metadata on the photographs. Ms. Heard testified that the metadata was included on the photos by pressing a button on her phone. The metadata demonstrated the pictures were taken on May 21st, 2016, along with the times they were taken. The exhibits were defendants' exhibits 700 through 726, and are exhibits A through AA of the proffer. Um, tabs N and O of the proffer are now uh, blank, as defendants 712 and 713 were admitted with, with the metadata on May 26th, 2022. Mr. Depp objected to the metadata on the document stating that the metadata was hearsay and there was no foundation for the hearsay. The court sustained the objection on the ground that the metadata was hearsay and that there was no foundation and admitted the exhibits uh, but redacted the metadata. Um, and then separately, we have a, a proffer for uh, uh, Stephen Duders. On May 20th, 2022, Ms. Heard moved to designate uh, certain portions of the deposition testimony for trial of Stephen Duders, who was Mr. Depp's personal assistant. 
Mr. Duders testified that he was on the Boston flight and sat in a seat facing Ms. Hurd and Mr. Depp. He further testified that the day after the flight, Mr. Depp told him he wanted to, quote, smooth whatever issue, end quote, existed with Ms. Hurd. Mr. Depp asked Mr. Duders to, quote, write a text, end quote, to Ms. Hurd and to say, quote, whatever she needs to hear, end quote. Mr. Duders then sent a text message to Ms. Hurd about Mr. Depp stating, quote, when I told him he kicked you, he cried. End quote. The testimony is contained in Exhibit A, Mr. Duder's deposition. Ms. Hurd moved to admit the text message into evidence, arguing it was not hearsay under Rule 2, 803, which provides for the admission of statements of a party opponent and his agents. Ms. Hurd argued Mr. Duder's was acting as Mr. Depp's agent when he sent the text, and the text message was therefore not hearsay. The text message is uh, Exhibit B to the proffer. Mr. Depp objected to the text messages hearsay, arguing that although Mr. Duders was Mr. Depp's employee, sending text messages to Ms. Hurd was not within the scope of the employment. The court denied the motion to admit the text message and testimony, finding that Mr. Duders was not acting as Mr. Depp's agent when he sent the text message. And I'll provide, I have copies to provide. All right, fine. We can add it to the, the list. Yeah. <laughs> we have a box for you. Oops. All right, no, we will add that. Oh, sorry, Eric. I think he has more. And this is the other one. All right, we'll make them part of the record. Thank you, sir. Thank All you. right, yes, Ms. Myers. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, on May 25th, 2022, plaintiff intended to call Dr. Kim Collins as an expert witness in forensics uh, pathology. Defendants objected on the basis that Dr. Collins had not been designated as a defensive witness and was designated only to rebut uh, Dr. Jordan, which was a defendant's forensic pathologist who had not been put up at this trial. Um, Dr. Collins intended to testify as to whether Ms. Hurd's descriptions of, of violence and injuries allegedly sustained by Mr. Depp were consistent with the photographic evidence at issue in this trial. Um, she also, for incidents where there was no photographic evidence, she would have testified as to what injury she would have expected to see based off of the violence that Ms. Heard testified to. Um, and finally, she would have uh, testified as to her opinion as to the, um, the cause, or as to Mr. Depp's finger injury and um, what she observed consistent, which was similar to what um, Dr. Gilbert testified to today. All right, thank you. Any other proffers? Okay. All right, all right, so just don't leave here until you check the laptop and you check all your evidence and make sure we get your checkbox on that and everybody's happy with it, okay? Anything else for the court? No, thank you. Really? No, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor.